So now that I've shown you how to replace colors in a photo like that little t-shirt, I'm going to put you to the test and I'm going to make you replace the colors of an entire car. Well, I'm not going to make you. I'm going to ask you politely, but you're still going to do it. So yeah, I'm going to make you do it. File and open. In the same folder, folder three in chapter eight, there is recolor the car, an entire car. Okay, so you repeat those steps again. It's Command J, always duplicate your photo first. Then Image Menu, Adjustments, Replace Color. I'm going to start with the first eyedropper and click on this dark red down in here. Then I click the eyedropper with the plus. I need to add additional shades of red. Just make sure as you click and drag, you do not hit any other color. Okay, if it helps, you can hit Command and Plus to zoom in. Space bar to move. You don't want to hit these little white highlights. So click and drag through them. Kind of sneak around through these little white highlights. Okay, I'll hold Space bar and move it. Grab some of these dark reds by clicking and dragging over those clicking and dragging back around here and get as much color as I can. I'm not even sure if I got all the color. So command and minus. Now I'm going to take my hue slider. And when you start with an image that has dark values, you don't want to switch those to lighter values like this. Notice all the detail I'm losing in this car. If I go with like a yellow, I'm going to lose a lot of that reflective detail. So I'm going to drag it over to the left. Red's a deep color, so I'll go with the blue. And I maintain all those deep reflections. Now I can instantly see I missed a lot of this red. So I'm just going to click and drag on that value right there. Maybe hit a little bit of that light pink right there next to that highlight. Hit a little dark red right there. Um, command and plus, hold my space bar for my hand tool. There's a little bit of red right on the edge of that fender right there. There we go. A little bit of light pink right there. Okay, got it. And there's a little dark red right at the bottom of the door. There we go. So I think I got all the reds in this car now. It's looking pretty good. Command and minus. That looks pretty sharp. Okay, I'm going to click OK, but again, this method probably is going to work too well. Notice the belt on the car. Well, now that brown leather belt, here's the original photo, that was brown. Brown is an offshoot of red. It's a warm tone. If there were red pixels in this belt, now they become purple. So again, on your copy, you add a layer mask. D for default colors, X to switch to black, and I'm going to take my paintbrush. Control and option, I'll drag down for a hard edge brush. Control and option and drag to the left for a small brush. And by painting with black, I'm going to scrape off this purple. That belt should not be purple. It should be the original brown leather belt. So what I'm doing again is making a little hole in the photo to let the original photo peek through. Okay, and I can scroll around here and look for any other little elements like this guy's hand back here. It's turned kind of purple. So, oops. If I go to the top layer on my layer mask, paint with black, I can scrape that away. Scrape it off his maroon sweatshirt because that also has shades of red in it. This guy's red leather belt. Some greens have shown up on his pants. So I can go in with a bigger brush and just kind of wipe over that area. Here's a little leather glove that has some tints of red to it. And notice the curb. Okay, yellow or gold is a warm tone. It's going to have a few errant red pixels. And those red pixels have now turned purple. So I have to erase this curb and get all that purple out of the curb. And I'll just hold my space bar and scroll around here. There's some purple in this curb down here. So I'll scrape those all out. 
and here's a little bit along the edges here nope that was from the photo okay let's go to undo we'll keep that some of the trees these are wood they're warm tones so i'm going to go with a big brush and just scrape that off so i get a little hint of that reddish tone back in the trees a little red light across the street there and just clean up whatever i can that kind of stands out to me so i have a nice blue car not the original red we did that in a matter of minutes okay it's no problem replacing color in your photoshop files piece of cake command j always duplicate then image adjustments replace color just make sure you zoom in at the end and check your details that's it.